We're doing a rather large load of darks in the Maloney Electra WD1100 washer dryer on program 60 degrees Celsius white nylon. We're going to be completing the synthetic side this week. So, keep yourselves tuned in, watch in HD because you're watching Florence Ballard A3060, the channel made in honour of the original Supreme Florence Ballard, the Shirelles and Hoover's first 1100 RPM automatic, the A3060 electronic 1100. <laughs> drums are in these machines. Oh, I'm going to turn my socks inside out put them in here. It's meant to be June and it's raining. Show us the thing of this country really. Oh. I do see, just put my socks. Put them inside out, and yes, we still ain't got a bloody tripod. Oh, this would be very interesting to see how this machine copes with this. That's not overload, it's just that's inside out, and that's inside out too. Inside out, sir. <laughs> All the unmentionables, as we say. This will really test the quality of the suspension on this. Although we know from the previous video we did, it was quite a spectacular result and quite amazingly handled it well. Right, that's probably a full capacity load I'd say. I need to go tablet in. I always drop it on the seal, just here. And the drum's still spinning. Get some more of these. They do per uh, pink diamond ones. I'm going to try. Got some fairy tablets down there for two pound fifty from Tesco, but I'll um, do that in a separate video. I'm not switching the dryer on yet because we're not going to be doing it on the low heat. Well, not yet, anyway. We're going to put on a fast spin afterwards. Turn that to 60. Hold on, dry. I don't need to enable that. That doesn't matter. the drum sort of turning as the weight balances out there. Oh, capacitor's struggling again. Hmm. 
enough brain down the lime scale at least. You can hear the suspension creaking. I funny we're not heating. And now we are. doesn't heat immediately on the synthetic cycle. That should have been slightly warm water coming in. We're heating the 60 now. See how much weight is being pushed on the suspension. <laughs> right outside that side is though. And after this, we've only got 40 degrees Celsius, colour fast nylon polyester and 40 special finish white cotton to do, then that's the whole machine done. Try and get that done this week. The machine's gone past the 50 part. Top up more water, but she's also doing a heat retaining stage. So the machine's actually going straight up to 60 now. Bound to get some sad lots with this. We've gone on to the 40 section, well, nearby. Sort out a tripod soon as well. We've reached 60 degrees Celsius now. I don't know how close those two cycles are to each other actually. She hasn't taken that long, to be honest. Look at that on there. Ow. Kind of like water, it's probably the jeans doing that as well. 747 going over us, I think. It's the uh, capacitor that needs replacing, I might do that after. First drain. So we do not spin on these. So it's like onto the final spin. <coughs> Neither do we tumble.
Um, the final wash we'll do with this machine, I'll do a boil wash and dry with a pre-wash with the lid off. In fact, I might do the back off the machine as well. We'll have the machine pull that and I'll do a... Yeah, so you can see how the machine actually works. Lid and back off. That's what we do, just so it doesn't spin or anything. I would have expected the machine to have done that. Um, messed you. And first rinse. Why the machine didn't do a shuttle rinse? I'm oh, cool down there. I can't believe it's pouring with rain. I think it's been the worst summer we've ever had. There we go. Oh, almost distribution. I can't believe there are no intermediate spins on the synthetic side. I would have expected at least one. Okay. The rinsing results aren't that bad. Second drain. Really, I'm going to miss the dryer on this machine. It's great having someone that can dry at least, and everything comes out soft. And we back to hard radiator and banister drying, line drying, again, etc. Chug that. Our growling pump. It might actually be indicating that it needs the filter needs emptying, so I'll do that off the drawing cycle. Second rinse, deep level.
Oh, 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 oh. Struggling. Because the capacitor in this machine is apparently quite weak for what it has, so the service gem has given me a replacement one that I need to fit, but fortunately I don't have a wrench to undo the old one too. Third drain. Well, the final rinse. I forgot to enable rinse hold. That's why I always enable this. So that will mean it won't go onto the final spin. I've just turned the machine to the fast spin. Then we'll turn it back to low heat dry because we've done the synthetic side. Saying that, no, we should do a high heat dry because we. It doesn't matter anyway, they're still both high heat. This is why I'm trying to finish the synthetic side first. So we can get, because it's quite a boring side really. That cycle should be quite quick though with nylon polyester. Final rinse. And here comes the fabric conditioner. That's Comfort Pure, 114 washers. You can tell we've got very high water pressure here because of how quickly the machine fills. Actually, in line, oh no, it's, uh, it should be in line with that little square, I think. But this rinse will be slightly longer. Oh, we're doing a proper high level fill for this one. Well, hey. Bang. That's good for a final rinse. So the machine does compromise for not doing any spins. When I put the machine on fast spin, I'll also set the dryer timer. Oh wait, no, we don't want to do that because we need to take some stuff out. That's right now, we need to take some stuff out after the spin. The machine is now on rinse hold, so I'm going to push that in. Turn it around to the cotton's uh, fast spin. Should be that. I'm not going to select the dryer timer yet because we need to let everything spin and remove some stuff. I think that should be it. Or is that the actual conditioner rinse though? moment everyone waits for us to spin.
I don't think it's going to be another cycle where the machine moves again like that. I apologise for it being such a dark load. off this tumble now I think. There you go, get off this. There you go. So we get a water lock, let's see. Smooth. Yes, we do. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, amazing. A bit of sub as well. Handles it well, though. Look at that. <clears throat> no fuss whatsoever. Machines of today have to stop and pump out and whatever. In the end, let the dryer unlock, take some things out, and then re-enable the dryer. We'll do drying low heat. Put the 
essentially does get to a high temperature. Stable, really. To be honest. If I just keep it there, actually, it will. It won't go onto the drying cycle. Unabled. Now we wait. It's got a load of stuff in there to dry, stuff to be put up to hang up. I'm going to turn it to six low heat. I'm going to do an hour and a half on that one. Off that dryer. There you go. Now it says low heat, but I definitely know for sure it uses. It goes to high temperature. So, work clothes in there, plus the unmentionables. If it was the WD640, it probably would have fitted a few more shirts on. Once again, I do apologise, you can't really see much in there because of how dark everything is. Do some lighter clothes. I've got some mum stuff there. I wonder if that could be mum's whites don't go on. Mum mm -hmm. likes doing us on 40 for some reason. Oh well, oh, no, I could maybe fit in two videos of this machine today. And I've got some things to then I've got things to play with during the week then to upload. Definitely 
do know that heats to full temperature though. We've got about 45 minutes left. Fortunately I don't have a temperature detector, but what I could tell you about that is that it's certainly not low heat dry. That is full, full power heat. Uh, service gem thinks that I might have a faulty thermostat on this machine. That doesn't matter anyway. I never actually really wash anything synthetic material. It's belting out some heat that is though. Sure, also mentioned today is the 78th birthday of Shirley Owens of the Shirelles, or Shirley Alston Reeves. So I am uh, officially starting my channel for her today. Also, was the death anniversary of the other Shirelle, um, Addie Mickey Harris, who died in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, in 1982 on this date, um, in the hotel there after a performance. She died of a heart attack. It's sad really that on the same day it's good and bad. Guys, we've uh, just advanced off the um, the drying side onto the cool down stage now. Last 10 minutes without the elements going. It looks pretty dry, but we'll have to see. I may have put a little too much in there for the dryer this time, but we'll see. I was going to do mum stuff and do another video, but of course, mum doesn't like her stuff going on the dryer, so. I wouldn't have been. What was that? Oh. Someone pulling out in their Ford. Bloody hair build up there as well. Lint. There's no way, as I said, that that is low heat though. Uh, it's made this whole room hot with the addition of the central heating. I don't even see any steam coming out of this, but I know. Definitely can feel that there is. Does even get any steam coming out of this? Feel it. God, that needs a bloody good clean in there. That's most likely the humidity from the dryer that's done that. Okay, guys, we've reached the end of the drying cycle now. Now it's time for the verdict. can tell it's, it's extremely hot. Um, hmm. It does feel a little bit damp still I think. Yeah. Probably I put too much on that one I think so. But all the rest of the shirts are No, quite dry, but probably could do a bit more. Um, so, thank you very much. Ah, God, the drum's hot. Drum is very hot after cycle. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run this through a spin cycle, flush out all the 
uh, lint and then that'll be it. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we're going to be focusing on the, I think the next cycle we'll do is 40 degrees Celsius Colour Fast 9 on polyester. Then we've got the special finish white cotton and then the last video will be a load of towels with the lid and the back of the machine off. So we can see how the machine works. And then that'll be the farewell before this ends up going to service gem. Uh, next week that is, and then our machines arrive. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.